One thing people might not know about me is that I have no classical training or any type of uh, music theory, piano or anything. I play everything by ear, pretty much self-taught across the board with like uh, keys and like samplers. I'm, I'm self-made all across the board. Or well, when I'm producing a track, I usually go in and say, I'll start with uh, some, I'll look through my records and pick out some drums and chop up the drums on the NPC, get a nice little pattern going and maybe pick out a sample and add some synths and some Fender Rose on it. And some of the music recording equipment I use uh, involves analog synthesizers. I have about five of them. And I just always have been drawn to the whole analog sound because it's there's something about it that you can't really quite get out of a computer or out of a VST. It just has a different, for me, it just has a different vibe. And I also use, I also use a, a Fender Rhodes electric piano. Well, when I first started, I was just using an EPS sampler and like a turntable and some records. And then the evolution began when I left that and started working with the MPC 2000 XL. And I got into the whole synthesizer world because I wanted to bring a, a, a dynamic into my sound. I didn't want to just be locked down to just looping records or chopping records. I wanted to have something else to bring to the table as far as, you know, sound. Another reason I got into, you know, playing my own keys and stuff and, you know, trying to like get other artists who play other instruments is, you know, I wanted to, um, for one thing, I didn't want to be stuck with just records. And another thing is I want to be able to have all the publishing. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about clearing anything. So you know, I can kind of just do my own thing. Well, I feel like my evolution in the next five years will definitely involve me playing a guitar. I'm going to learn how to play guitar at some point. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot more synthesizers. <laughs> as much as I can have room for. So what inspires me creatively outside of music? It could be something as simple as waking up and it's sunny out and I'm taking a walk or going to a yard sale or going bowling with my girlfriend or spending time with my niece and nephew. Talking to my, having conversations with my mom and dad, and, you know, things like that. What keeps me motivated and driven to create is just my general love for this music. I mean, it's just, it's genuine. It's so genuine and heartfelt. It's nothing phony or gimmicky about it. It's just like, it's not just what I do, it's who I am, you know.